Mountain. It's uh, Monday morning, the day before Super Tuesday. Uh, my name is Chris McLaughlin. I'm here by the Rancho Santa Margarita Library. Um, fixing to turn in my daughter's ballot. I'm sure she doesn't want her info displayed, but that's me signing the top there. Um, I want to make three quick points uh, before Super Tuesday tomorrow. Some misconceptions I see, or just things that haven't been promoted enough. Um, one is that there's not really a, you don't really have a local polling place anymore. Each vote center is basically like an extension of the registrar's office. Two, um, nonpartisans can go to vote if you if you blew the deadline to request a Democratic primary ballot. Uh, you can go to the vote center and request one. And then three, they don't really have provisional ballots anymore, which is great news for people who like think they don't count or something. Um, so going back through them, one, uh, the vote centers are usually at places like the library or city hall here in Rancho Santa Margarita are the two that we have. It's actually the bell towers across, across the hall from city hall. Uh, but usually they're at the uh, library, city hall, uh, like the community centers in your town, uh, the senior centers in some places. Whatever is usually like in the middle of your town that's a polling location, that's what generally the vote centers are now. There's not a bunch of other little polling locations everywhere, like every little school and everything. The one I did last uh, election in Ladera Ranch, Chaparral Elementary, isn't a polling center. It isn't a vote center. It was a polling location last time. So the good news is it doesn't matter which one you go to because they're all like an extension of the registrar's office. Everyone got mailed a ballot. You can turn it in anywhere. Even if um, you go to work tomorrow and you forgot your ballot at home, that's fine. Just go to a vote center. They can even pull up like your local measures. Like let's say you live down in South County and you work in North County. You go to a polling vote center in Fullerton. They can pull up on your machine your local measures for school boards, for water boards, for your local elections, um, anywhere in the county. So that's very versatile. Um, two, if you forgot to register for a non uh, for a Democratic primary ballot and you're a nonpartisan like I am, you can go in and say, "Hi, I forgot to request one. Can I have a Democratic presidential primary ballot?" And they'll say, "Yes, here it is. Go vote on paper or on the machines." So you know they're pretty flexible. And then three, they don't really have prov provisional ballots anymore. A lot of people used to think like, "Oh, they're not going to count them. Why bother?" You know that's not an issue anymore. Uh, anywhere you go to a vote center, uh, they look you up on the computer, they see if you voted already, and if you didn't turn in the one they mailed you, you know, because you, you didn't get it or whatever, you moved, you left it at home, that won't count, and then you register right there at the vote center, and that one counts. It's not like a provisional, and they see if it counts. That one definitely counts. Um, the only provisional thing is if uh, you same-day register, that's like a provisional registration in California. It's a new thing. It's like a provisional same-day registration. They made sure you didn't register someone else. Then they, you know, register you and then count your ballot if you do the same-day thing. If you're not already registered. But if you're already registered, it's, it's, it counts. It's it. So that's all good news with the vote center. We're saving millions of dollars this year in Orange County, switching to vote centers, having a lot less of them. But they're f like full-service extensions of the registrar office. So I'm looking to see a big turnout. You know, a lot of people on election day, they start seeing people at work with the I voted, and they're like, oh my gosh, I forgot about it. i got to race home and get my ballot. And I'm here to assure you, you don't need to race home and get your ballot. Just go to the nearest vote center, wherever you are. They're open until 8 p.m. on election day, Tuesday. Today's Monday. And then go vote. So uh, we'll see who's uh, leading in the, in the Democratic race after Super Tuesday. It's a big deal. So take care and go vote. Later, bye.